If you Google the definition of Baizu, you're going to find this. Baizu, pronounced Bai Tuao, is a Chinese epithet meaning naive Western educated person who advocates for peace and equality only to satisfy their own feeling of moral superiority. A Baizu only cares about topics such as immigration, minorities, LGBT, and the environment while being obsessed with political correctness to the extent that they import backwards Islamic values for the sake of multiculturalism. The Chinese sees the Baizu as ignorant and arrogant Westerners who pity the rest of the world and think they are the savior. So obviously China definitely understands uh, Western political correctness, which is why um, not only did they call a lot of people racist uh, when discussing the uh, idea that the virus originated from China or the fact that maybe the border should be closed, it has gotten to ridiculous points where they complained that closing the borders for Israel is like the Holocaust. And that, my friends, aged like a rotten egg. Now, I want to show you the Baizu in their natural element. You see, on the Twitter, there are certain videos that are very disgusting and also disturbing in their nature. Uh, however, I cannot show them on YouTube. Uh, first of all, because I don't want to make you sick. And secondly, I think it might violate the terms of service. But I can describe them to you so you can understand uh, what they contain. Um, you have a nice Chinese gentleman which finds a toad and while the toad is still alive, just puts it in his mouth and bites its head off, starting to eat the animal. Um, then there is this lovely Chinese lady that is trimming some bushes and uh, she finds a bird nest within the bushes. Now the chicks are still alive and uh, they are very small and she just takes them and puts them in her mouth eating them as if they're M&Ms while you can hear the sound of the crunching bones coming from within her mouth. So very disturbing and a lot of people are upset with this practice and they condemn it rightfully so. But then you have the Baizu. Now, obviously, the people that condemn the practice and find it disgusting aren't hurting anyone. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think they are going to manage to change the legislation in China. Uh, but still, you have the Baizu that needs to show how morally righteous they are, how they condemn. Not only do they not think it's wrong to do these practices, but condemning a foreign culture for its behavior is unacceptable. It is, in fact, racist. Uh, even though not all Asian people do it, and uh, only a small part of the people in China do it. Uh, but you see uh, people saying that uh, messages that eating uh, wild animals uh, is weird, not normal, and gross. This is coming from the view that Western foods are normal and anything else is not correct. It's also erasing uh, cultural practices and the history of China, uh, why people had to resort to some of these foods. Now, um, what's interesting is that I did not know that the Baizu is uh, concerned about erasing cultural practices, especially when uh, every Halloween we have to go through articles upon articles uh, telling us about how you shouldn't dress like this, you shouldn't dress like that. Uh, Columbus Day is problematic. Let's take down some statues. I mean, I, I didn't know that the Baizu is now in favor of uh, maintaining cultural practices, especially when they complain about Japan and the way they have anime and this and that. But the point is, there are sometimes logical reasons why people get disgusted. And just because they cannot articulate them, does that mean they are completely irrational? Uh, you see, here in the evil West, we do have a lot of legislation uh, regarding the slaughtering of animals because you're also going to have several vegans that are pointing out it's like well you eat cows and chicken how is that different from eating a toad uh, the difference is that the cows and the chickens are constantly monitored by an army of veterinarians to make sure that they are healthy uh, there are certain regulations on what can and you can't feed those particular cows and chickens and there's also uh, an entire industry with standards regarding on how those cows and chickens can be kept. Furthermore, your body has been eating uh, chicken and cows for so long that uh, you do have immunity to most of the diseases transmitted from these animals. The same cannot be said for wild animals. 
because there is no standard, there is no industry to make sure that the quality and the health of the animal you're slaughtering um, is on par with an animal that grew on a farm or in an industrial complex. Um, so if you were to say that it's fine to just eat wild animals, then you should also argue for the deregulations of everything that the European Union has to say about the correct practices of slaughter and raising of animals. And you should also argue against any regulations coming from the United States about what's okay to feed and monitoring the health of farm animals and livestock. But for some reason, these people do not seem to do it. They will cherish the European Union and they will be horrified. How are we going to consume products without EU regulations? How can we know that when we go to the market, the meat that we are eating is safe? Well, at the same time, uh, dismissing the issue that somewhere uh, in, in other parts of the world, people just eat uh, completely unhealthy and unsafe food that is not regulated by any means. Luckily, the Chinese government does understand the danger because, you see, you don't need every single Chinese person to consume these types of foods. Instead, um, in fact, you don't even need a small minority. It's, it's only a handful of people that do it, which can lead to something like we see with the current pandemic. Uh, so the Chinese government is going to take a, a big hit by canceling an entire $74 billion industry in order to make sure that something like this does not happen again. And that's a good thing. But still, I do have to appreciate the power of the Baizu to escape criticism for their actions. You see, we live in a society where if the US president claims interest in some sort of treatment for the virus and one man out of 350 billion decides to drink some substance which is used for cleaning fish tanks that has a similar name with that drug, uh, the media all but crucifies the US president. It's almost as if the US president chucked that substance down that poor man's throat. Another example would be the situation that existed at the Greek border. If, heaven forbid, a police officer that was protecting that border would have uh, fatally shot an immigrant, then the mainstream media would treat it as if everyone who is for closed borders and everyone who is for border controls is just as guilty as if they were there holding that police officer's arm, uh, hurting the fellow immigrant. Uh, we noticed this countless of times where if you make a video that was remotely criti critical for whatever reason of Islam, and uh, then the horror at the Christchurch happened, everyone that was critical of Islam was almost as guilty as if they went into that mosque along with that madman. But when people advocate for political correctness and bad things happen because of it, no one seems to be held to account. For example, in Britain, the police officers who knew that uh, crimes are happening under their noses, not for a year, not for two, but for decades, claimed that the racismus was to blame. They didn't want to be accused of racism, so they looked the other way. And yet we do not notice uh, any accusations towards the people that practice this type of ideology, which prevented little girls from gaining justice or being uh, freed from their captives. Another example would be when an epidemiologist in Italy claims that political correctness uh, made the catastrophe that we are witnessing now. Uh, you see, uh, before, not one or two months ago, uh, if you are a person that even remotely suggested that maybe we should close the borders from the people that are in China, that would have been considered uh, incredibly racist. <coughs> in fact, articles after articles from the mainstream media claimed that in order to fight racism and bigotry, we need to hug a Chinese person per day. Now, I do not think that hugging a Chinese person actually led to the epidemic that we see in Italy, but trivializing the matter and making it so that people do not treat a disease that is now crippling the world's economy with at least some level of seriousness has led to this, according to, again, Italian epidemiologists. And yet the people who are supporting this ideology do not seem to get any sort of criticism whatsoever. 
no matter how many people they end up hurting, no matter the consequences of the ideology that the Baizu is posting on Twitter, he can do so freely without any sort of consequence. So I do admire this power that they have to manage to avoid any public shame or public stigma. I do hope that they manage to sleep well at night knowing that they contribute just a little bit to most of the harm that comes in the world. I, I do not know a single person that can say, yes, I am glad political correctness exists. My life has improved dramatically ever since political correctness has been a thing. But I did give a couple of examples where negative things have happened because of exaggerated political correctness, which was just at first sold as being polite. Last time I remember we have the code book of manners for people of being polite, which would make political correctness kind of redundant, especially when there are so many hate speech laws here in Europe. Um, political correctness just seems to be a way of having people feel good and virtuous that they do something when in reality they don't do anything. They like to call other people of being evil on the Twitter when they aren't people that are doing any good. Uh, so I hope they manage to sleep uh, good at night knowing that they are that little snowflake which creates the giant blizzard that protects certain cultures which desperately need critiquing from receiving any sort of amount of criticism whatsoever. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the comment section.